Hi, this is CBRadioMagazine.com, and today we're going to talk about a little repair on a radio if you're running into a certain issue. Uh, and that part that we're going to talk about is protection diode. And a lot of people will have problems uh, over the years with this. If you're in the hobby long enough, you'll probably run into it. And usually what happens when people are hooking up uh, power wires, doing other things, and a lot of times when they have the wrong size fuse for the type of radio that they're using. Uh, a lot of export radios use a little bit higher rated amperage fuse than a CB radio. Maybe people use the same wires or fuses in line. And you always want to make sure with your radio you use the appropriate fuse. So if something does short out, it'll pop before it causes damage to the radio. Um, if the case happens where the fuse has popped, but there still uh, was a surge that went through the radio, uh, it can cause damage to the radio. And a lot of times uh, the damage can be quite extensive and bad. I've seen, uh, you know, audio chips get damaged. I've seen circuits actually, uh, traces actually blow right off the circuit board. Uh, I've seen uh, wires melt inside radios and things like that. But uh, in most cases, if someone just does something real quick and stupid uh, with the wire, uh, and we've all done it, I've done it many times in the radios, it'll blow your uh, protection diode. And it's a very easy, quick fix. So uh, kind of the first diagnosis is you go to power on your radio. Radio will not power on. You check your fuses, you check your install, everything else seems correct. If you have another radio, um, you could try and hook it up as well to see if it powers on. But also, that's something to be careful of, because if you've uh, blown the uh, circuit in one radio, you might blow in another one. So uh, you necessarily don't want to try and hook up another one right away. But uh, check all your wires, check your fuses, and see where you're at. Then, uh, the next step is the radio still won't turn on. You can check your diode in the radio. So uh, we'll have an example to show what it looks like here. And these are just some Radio Shack diodes. They come in packs of two, $1.99, I believe, at Radio Shack. Um, part number uh, IN4001 there. And they've got their uh, 276-1101. So this is just a standard one you can use in a CB radio. Uh, the actual location of it is going to be located near the entry power wire. So your power wire plug is on three pin plug, plug is on the back here. Uh, this radio, an example here, is a unit in, uh, pro unit in uh, 640E. And towards the back of the circuit board here, you'll see the diode is on the very corner. It's a small part, so it's a little tough to see there. Uh, it's on the very corner of the circuit board there. And it just has two connections where it solders in on the bottom side of the radio. Uh, so you would stick it through the holes and solder it in, replace it. When you go to replace these, if you're checking to see if one has blown, uh, a lot of times they'll just fall apart when you go to take them out and you'll see pieces of it chip off or things like that and that you definitely will know it's bad it's lost its ability to make its connection and it's hopefully saved the radio from damage um, let me pull out another radio here and I'll show you another one okay so here's a Cobra 29 just a standard Cobra 29 uh, Cobra radio and the reverse prote uh, polarity protection diode on this radio it's actually going to be right in here. It's a little tough to see. And as you can see, you know, the diode looks the same pretty much in all the CB radios you go through. Uh, the location can vary, though. But as long as you're around the power cord area here, you'll see, like, the negative uh, come down, go into the board. And then right next to it, you know, is usually where that's going to be located. Uh, but it can vary. It can be uh, in any of these locations back along here, you know, on the back of the circuit board from radio to radio. But once again, if you have had a problem and... Uh, the diode has failed. It'll probably be crumbly. You can uh, give it a little touch and you'll see it kind of break apart often or sometimes you'll actually see it like, you know, in pieces on the board. Um, but, uh, you know, if you have a broken radio and it's not turning on or powering on at all, one of those easy things just to try. If you're good at soldering, take a couple minutes. And I've actually seen people throw, you know, $100, $200 radios in the garbage because they just would not turn on and they figured they did something really awful and uh, you know $2 in parts later and they could have fixed their radio so something to keep in mind before you toss a radio that's not powering on and uh, just a simple tip there and I hope you enjoyed the video